And Hunter Kraus, Swedish sophomore standout from WPIL powerhouse Seneca Valley. Not that far down the road, down the interstate, as Swedish, a quick two-point takedown, and an escape allowed to Kraus. Two to one, Hunter Swedish. Winner of this match will move into the semifinals to take on the two-seed Harley Constable of Waynesburg at 133. And Swedish, this is what he does. He is a takedown machine. He likes to work for the technical fall. He can, is, he can pin, but he does like to work for the technical fall. And Swedish. Kraus just looking for anything to get out of this. And now looking for that tilt is Swedish, our official for this opening match. Holding two. We'll pick up the two near fall. 8-2 lead for Swedish. Now goes to that Turk. Kraus in trouble. And looking for the fall is Hunter Swedish and put W and J in the early team lead. And there's the fall that comes in a minute and 33 seconds. So Hunter Swedish into the semifinals at 133 pounds. Again, he'll get Waynesburg's Harley Constable. So big and strong, it's going to be tough for Trotman to keep down. Roll through try by Manley, looking for the reversal. Trotman staying with him. Manley to his feet will pick up the escape. Transition into, no, they're going to turn it into a two-point reversal rather than an escape and a takedown. And Manley goes up 2 nothing with a minute and a half to go second period. Uh, so start the third period, Trotman. He can come to his feet, will tie this thing up, and he does. Riding time is pretty much even. They just say Trotman during the regulation time was probably the better rider, and right as I say that, he gets reversed. And that is big to take the two instead of the one. And up is McCarthy. Nice back leg trip out of that single leg. Gets the takedown on Ratledge. And this crowd just turning. Shot by Ratledge, he's in deep again. Good job to work that up into a whizzer by McCarthy. But he was in danger of giving up the headlock. Ratledge, close eye on that. See if there's any sort of potentially dangerous action going on. They award two here. Crowd was calling for, for E.J. McCarthy. Sorry about that. Under there. I was trying to look to I saw the red on a Ratledge. Look out, Granby roll by Ratledge. Gets the reversal, ties it up 5-5. Let's see if he cuts him. He may want to, he may try to ride here to get that point, to get that advantage down under a minute. And riding time at 115 and dropping for McCarthy. Ratledge now will cut him. It's 6-5 in favor of McCarthy. Right advantage is still there. So, well, not quite. Michael's still holding on to the leg. Thompson will clear. Get the takedown. Michaels. Referee. Award two. Surprised that wasn't a four-point move for Thompson. Is he in favor of Hunter Thompson? That would have been a huge upset if... Michaels, oh, nice inside leg trip, and look out, Michaels throws Thompson to his back. Hunter Thompson in trouble. Christian Michaels looking for the fall for Waynesburg. Looking to bow and arrow this up, and he's got it tight. Michaels. Thompson very close to getting out of this, but Michaels has got the fall. And a huge upset for Christian Michaels. Gets the fall in two minutes and 18 seconds, and again. The PAC championship. You gotta, you gotta go if it's the homestanding pack championship. And a second stall call on Sanabria. That's going to be a penalty point for Alberts. Make it one to nothing as we end the second period. It does. We're down to 45 seconds, third period. Low ankle pick try. Oh now, reshot by Sanabria. He's going to pick up the takedown. It's two two. But the problem is, riding time has been locked in for Alberts, and Sanabria wisely cuts him. It's three two. Alberts really four to two. With unable to compete. And two-point takedown here for Colton Minerva. An escape from Martz. Ties it up at 2-2. Nice double leg shot by Minerva. Good hips, though, from Martz. He'll circle behind and take the lead at 4-2. Reaping now, able to shelf up that single leg, pick up the takedown. Two points for Reaping. Figure fouring the head. This is going to go against Parker. And now sweep through, and then he sticks Parker. So, and Reaping, looking for the fall. He's got to squeeze that head. 
And there it is. Ball comes in four minutes and 21 seconds for Nick Reaping. And now we throw a shin whizzer is Constable. Right along the edge. They do not award two. They do award two now as he's just able to grab the left foot of Harley Constable. And with 12 Swedish, Constable to his camel stand. Good job to lace the leg, though, by Hunter Swedish. And Constable will cut and cut it to three to two. Right shot. Thought he was going to get the takedown right there. He dumps Constable right back to his butt, and that's two as he covers the legs. And he's going to just bulls. Now Searle gets the reversal to make it two to two. Struggling a bit, even Teal struggling a bit with overall numbers. Nice shot by Searle on the reshot. You talk about numbers. We'll get to this later. Wrestling championships as Meade in on a single leg shot. Oh, nice reshot though by Searle from the top and slamming the mat in frustration. 50 seconds to go, second period. 6-3 lead for Josh Searle of WJ. He shot, he gets caught in the front side half and thrown to his back by Landon Meade. Landon Meade looking for the fall, and he'll get it in 4 minutes and 20 seconds. So we'll have an all-teal final at 157 pounds, this teal semifinals. This, I believe, is top seed Logan Marco taking on now. Is it Greg Roy? Yeah, I believe so. And Logan Marco's looking for the quick fall. Gets the takedown, picks up four. Out of bounds, escape. That's all right. Now shot in by Marco. Transitions right into a half. They're looking to throw Roy right back into his... Bring Pennsylvania. Well, then your notes are better than my memory. Shot by Marco, reshot by Roy. Maybe afraid to make a mistake as you gun for a packed title. Big double leg shot. Marco tries to dump Roy, and time runs out. 13 5 lead, and Roy took a shot in the eye. May have caught. Going to give up on the Turk, go straight to a front side half and looking for the fall, and he will get it. Three minutes, 57 seconds for the top seed, Logan Marco. On those seats by the end right. of today. A Thurber-sized imprint. Oh, and now a go-behind by Zerby. Uses the back leg trip on Anderson. Poised those hips. Lost it. We'll get the four near fall. And escorts Anderson out of bounds. Thurber getting... And now... Anderson trying to yank down on the head. Spin around, try again. Zerby's tried that three or four times. There he gets it to connect. And it's eight of those underhooks. Oh, nice slide behind by Montabano. And that should be two, and it is. So Nick Montabano. Morris reverses that one, gets on top of him. They're in Hershey now in the team tournament, trying to take the bronze for a second straight year. Now the half in. Big power half on the turn by Morris. Got the legs deep. Picks up four. Make it six to two. Down once. Showing why he's one of the top wrestlers in the country. Oh, sloppy by Montabano. And Morris just snatches a single on the way by. And Jamal Lewis of WJ shot in here by Montabano. Morris, though, just going to power out of it. Pick up two more. Go up 11 to two. He can scoop that head. He is going to pick up four near fall and go up 15 to two. My real perspective of, wow, is Gill tax right away. Two point two takedown points. for Gill. And now looking for perhaps a splatal. Gill working up on top. Oh, nice sit, sitting switch by Lewis. And he'll pick up the reversal. And that was just pure athleticism by Lewis. And now again tries that sit out, turn in. He's going to come into this double leg, big lift. And they're going to award the reversal for Lewis. So think as Gill, he's just got to clear his leg, and he's pretty much already got him in a Turk. Picks up the reversal. And now Gill not only looking for near fall, good transition into the headlock. And now he's looking for the fall. There it is. And this place erupts. 
Four minutes and 50 seconds for Gill. Frank Gill goes to the student section and. <laughs> you look that up, I'll call, the, I'll call the action. How about that? Sounds good to me. Slide by single by Curcio, and he's going to pick up the quick takedown. Both of these, the I just don't. Well, I think right now, W and J feels they're in it for the team title. Nice single leg to a double for Curcio. And that may be enough to wrap it up as we're. You said it was going to be out of it. W&J just hoping they can stay in. Look out. Reversal try for Bischoff. He will get it. Make it 5-4. Has to cut Curcio quick. Get on his offense. It's 6-4. Bischoff, does he have one in him? With injury and then also. Oh, going for a throw was LeVanway. He went for the big move, but Phillips went with it. Got the takedown. LeVanway the escape. And right. Reshot try here by Phillips. Chance for a big move here for Phillips. He's just going to settle in and pick up the takedown and go up four to one. He may be trying to work a stand. Teal fans want it. He's close. He's got 58 seconds to go. Levanway will bridge out. No, they're going to say he stacked him and got the fall. 206 for Seth Phillips of T. Consuegra. Brian Rose trying to get everything reorganized with Commissioner Joe Underko. Stalling call already on Duncan. Luckily didn't hit the new. To see this many stall calls this fast. Duncan trying to post up and block the spin around. There's the takedown for Herbster. Duncan though able to get free and he's looking to stick Braden Herbster and looking for a huge upset is Jacob Duncan. I don't know how Duncan did not get the fall. He's going to pick up the reversal and four near fall. Wow. Six to four for Duncan, and he's still. Herbster just got to keep driving in on this, picks up two, and ties it at 7-7. Seven, seven. Trying to put Duncan away. Duncan putting up. I don't think they awarded the escape. I don't think so because they haven't updated the scoreboard yet. Another stall on Duncan, and that's a... Two point, that should be two point reversal for the top seed at 197. Duck under try by Duncan, went for it, and Herbster just goes with it, picks up the takedown to go up 11 to 8. Roll through, tilt try, look out. Duncan gonna get the reversal. 11 10, look out, he comes right into a half. Trying to scoot that bar in a half is Duncan. He's looking to stick him again. Near fall points coming. I think Herbster may be out of gas. Cross face, that's perfectly fine. Cross face went in. And there's the fall! What an upset by Duncan. Duncan with the fall in 623. And it's different. Especially because not all tournaments have multiples. As Williams gets the takedown, shoots right into a front side half. And Nico Williams looking for the fall. He's got 55 seconds to go here in this opening period. Congdon trying to keep the hips turned. Nico Williams. And good job by Congdon to belly out. It's going to be 6 nothing. Williams has sort of been forced into the start. Oh, big blast double by Nico Williams. And things, it's getting a little interesting as the day wears on. Big blast double for Nico Williams again. He's done that. Hit in your stomach. Boy, Congdon almost in trouble there as Williams went for that headlock and a half. He is going to pick up a takedown and the body language from but Congdon now, if he can reach back, may be able to get into a Peterson instead. Looking for the fall is Nico Williams. He got the four. That's the important part. No. Yes, they did award four. That's big because that's a technical fall. Be huge upset here. Snap down trying. Good job by Patrick to circle in. And they're going to call stalling on Manley. And that's a point for Trent Patrick. Pat. Listening to assistant coach Nick Garber was begging... Patrick to hold on to that bar. Couldn't do it. In the build. Oh, throwing a headlock is Manley, but he got caught by Patrick. Patrick catches, gets caught by Manley. Who's got who? Oh, and then a big head slap. 3-2. Quick sit out. And Patrick wisely going for the reversal, and he plants Manley. 
Oh, and an escape for Manley, and Manley goes right into a single. Patrick is able to hit the standing spin and get out. It's 4-4. We even have a shot here. There you go. I was going to say try to at least force Manley. Oh, and the toe came up on Trent Patrick. The Teal fans may be the most upset. I think according to the rules you Oh, said. Patrick made a big mistake. Took a wild shot instead of going to overtime, and that was just a big mental error by Trent Patrick as Manley's going to win it 6-4. to four. Got That's too aggressive there. Didn't pay off. Deep, deep single leg. You don't usually see a guy kind of five-hole an opponent and pick up a single leg that way. LaVanway got super deep on a single leg, just didn't grab him, and now Trotman in some pain. I don't know if he tweaked that ankle on that shot by LaVanway, but Trotman running that front side half and a bar and looking for the fall is Luke LaVanway. He's got about 53 seconds to work with in the first period. And there's the fall for Luke LaVanway. Comes in 213. Back ankle, but didn't have control of it and the constable has to bail out Thompson just holding on for dear life bails out and constable pick up the takedown to make it three to two so they cross but got some really good wrestlers we haven't even seen yet yes mentioned Whiteside and Rodriguez nice single leg oh and constable lost its balance and it's a 5-3 lead for Hunter Thompson and I'm not picking on Thompson. It's just a bit of a lack of action. Roll through try. Who's got who? And there is two for Thompson. Two big points for Hunter Thompson. Oh, yeah. Quick escape for Bischoff. I'd like to see one of these wrestlers take a shot here. Start pushing the action. Because of Duquesne Athletics is Brandon ross -Eye. Had stints with the Pirates this summer. Spotter for the Steelers. Yep. One point escape Clemens. The next round. Big double leg shot. Bischoff dumps Raheem Clemens. 